Good afternoon. This is Tom Asprey with the Viper Report. It is just after the close of trading on Thursday, May 2nd. As you can see, it's 4.11 p.m. Markets closed, uh, rebounded nicely from the early lows. Dow was just down 122. It was down much more than that in early trading. S&P 500 closed at 29.17. You can see from this intraday chart here, it got close to 2,900 just after the open. So it regained much of the early losses. And the market internals, which all of you know I pay a lot of attention to, were about 2 to 1 negative early on. They rebounded nicely, 1,331 advances, 1,584 declines. Not surprised about today's actions. You know, this chart shows here the reversal that we saw once Fed Chair Powell started his comments and the market didn't like what he had to say. That's not the first time that's happened. If you look at this hourly chart of the S&P 500, you know, it had a reversal and a doji sell signal on the hourly chart uh, right just after uh, 3.30 or 3 o'clock Eastern Time. This reversal set the stage for the decline earlier this morning. We talk a lot about the Stark Bands. You can see here they well, dropped well below the Stark Band early in the trading. That was, remember, that was a sign that it was a bad place to sell. It was a high risk sell and a low risk buy. Those who sold short early in the day were not happy by the close. I have been commenting for the past couple of weeks that we are getting into a higher risk area for the market tracking ETFs like the SPY and the QQQs, as well as some of the market leaders. This is the XLY, the consumer discretionary ETF, has been one of our favorites in 2018 and also. Since the start of this year, initially got long in January, added to the position again in early March. We took some profits at 119.42. It got up to about 119, 120.50 last week. You can see this area here is where we took 50% of our position off to lock in some nice profits. No signs yet of a major top here, but we're watching to see what kind of pullback we get. Recently, there have been a lot more attractive opportunities in individual stock. This is Lock Lockheed Martin, LMT. We got long here a week or so before the earnings. You can see it shot to the upside on earnings. Went from around 306 up to 337. We tightened our stop and we're just stopped out early today. Nothing really negative here. You can tell from the on-balance volume. So we may look for another entry point here next week. Also had nice trade in Group 1 Automotive. I wrote about in a Forbes.com article a couple weeks ago. Got had a nice entry point here and it also reported very strong earnings. Got up to our first target near $80. We pushed the stop up tight after Wednesday's reversal to lock in a nice profit currently on the sidelines here. We've been reducing some of our long positions in the individual stocks because after all, the Viper Hot Stocks is a trading service. As many of you know, we stagger our entries. So for Harris Corp, we bought at a couple different levels here before it surged to the upside on its earnings. We had a profit-taking level we took on Wednesday, holding half the position here because we think it is going to go higher after it consolidates a bit. So still, that's an open position. I'm doing another free video lesson this Saturday. That's May 4th, starting at 11 p.m. Eastern. Plan to run about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, which seems to be the, the comfort zone for most of you. I will send uh, the meeting link out in the email. You can see it's here already. It's already scheduled. Hope to see quite a few of you there. I'll be talking about the Stark bands and how they can be used and also maybe touch on some pivot point analysis. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I think you'll find it worthwhile. I do post my thoughts during the market week and also point out new articles. I posted this one, can this sector tumble even further on Wednesday afternoon? Rather appropriate because there's several sectors here that look kind of vulnerable. 
we are avoiding them in the Viper ETF report. But uh, you can sign up, Twitter at Tom Asprey. Well, that's all I have for today. If you want specific advice on where to buy and sell ETFs, you can go to theviperreport.com, click on this link. It'll take you through to the details of the service. Reports come out Monday and Thursday of each week, five to seven pages in length, include specific recommendations. And of course, I do interim updates when necessary. For those who are interested in stocks, the Viper Hot Stocks Report also comes out generally on Monday and Thursday. Lots of good stock opportunities. There's a lot of charts like the ones we just looked at that are just coming out of consolidation periods and they haven't been moving sharply higher with the market, but now they look ready to join the party. I'm looking at a bunch of new buy candidates for next Monday. Hope you have a great weekend and hope I see you at the free session on Saturday.